three things you should never do if you're trying to lose belly fat. My name is Landy Martin, your certified holistic health coach, and today I'm going to talk about three things that you have to give up if you want to lose belly fat. Number one, seed oils. Eating highly processed seed oils. There was a study done on rats. The first group of rats was given lard and alcohol. The second group was given beef tallow and alcohol. The third group was given seed oils and alcohol. The group that was given lard and alcohol had a, a slight impact to their liver. Second group of the beef tallow and the alcohol had almost no effect on the liver, meaning that beef tallow has a protective effect on your liver. And the third group, which was seed oil and alcohol, almost all of the rats developed cirrhosis and fatty liver disease. That's the first thing you need to give up, seed oils. If you're going to a restaurant, ask them how they're frying their food. What are they frying their food in? Ask for it to be fried in grass butter, grass fed butter, or just butter, as long as they're not using seed oils, okay? Number two, eating in between meals when you're not hungry eating when you're not hungry. Now this is something that also spikes insulin. If you're starving at night after your dinner and hopefully you're eating a high protein and a lower carb diet to even out your blood sugars and stop those insulin spikes, if you must eat something after dinner time, make sure it's a high protein or high fat high protein, like a little piece of cheese or something like that. Because if we're eating sugar, carbohydrates, potato chips and things like that at night, that is spiking our insulin levels and keeping us at an elevated blood sugar pretty much most through the night. And you're using your sleep to restore, rebuild your body. We don't wanna to go to bed on sugar. And the third and last thing that I think you should avoid if you're trying to lose belly fat is drinking coffee on an empty stomach. Now, when you do this, this spikes cortisol, which screws up your hormones and also your blood sugar. So the longer we can delay caffeine in the morning, now caffeine Caffeine has some beneficial effects for you know your body, but we don't want to do it on an empty stomach. So when you get up, take a piece of Celtic sea salt, drink some water, stretch, wake up, spend some time, eat some protein of some source. Even if it's just a protein shake, get some protein in before you do that coffee and I promise you'll have better results. And if you like these tips, follow me for more.